Hello and welcome to today's day of positivity. Um, now we have um, an extraordinary guest here today and that is none other than God. Um, it's always somebody that uh, whenever he comes through I always feel um, quite touched and honoured that he um, is willing to, to speak um, through me and um, and obviously he, he's so keen and, and so wants to, to give his words to as many people as he possibly can. Now, um, before we get started, um, for some of you who have been following me, you'll know that, that this is a, an incredible journey that I'm on. Um, three years ago, people from the Bible era started m coming close to me, and then of course God came a little bit later and, and has been ever present with me. And what they are saying is they, they've got a great deal of work that they want me to help them with. And so if you're interested in the journey and want to be part of it and enjoy what's happening, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so you can be informed of everything that is going on. And, um, and, and, and of course, it's going to be very, very exciting. Now, um, so yes, let's get started. And he's just drawing close and he's saying to me that, um, of course, he is very honoured to be speaking through me also and he feels that it's a, it's a two-way thing that um, because he gets the opportunity to talk to all of you and this is something that he feels so passionate about that he wants to give his words to as many people as he possibly can. He says today is a very significant day um, that we are referring to and that is um, what you call in your land Good Friday and this is the day where it was um, a very sorrowful day because Jesus um, um, met with his um, perpetrators and was crucified on, on the cross. He's saying to me that it was never his intention for him to be crucified um, and meet his death in this way. This was something that he did not want. He wanted Jesus to go on for many more years than actually he did. And he feels um, almost like aggrieved that this came about um, um, so soon. However, he is um, delighted that as a result of what happened with, with Jesus, the, the, the religion that took place, the, the Catholicism, the Christianity that took place and that spread around the world and what the apostles did as a result of what happened, he feels eternally grateful to many people for all their hard work and what they did to achieve what, what was so necessary in, in our world. He's saying that his, his connection to Jesus was, was extremely close and um, on a daily basis he would come forward and he would communicate with, with Jesus and talk to him about his, his mission and his ministry and how he could help many people. And of course, in the early days, um, he wasn't so sure as to how he could help. But as he got older and as he became more used to the work that I was doing through him, he soon realised that, that I was um, almost like a force to be reckoned with, that I was there to, to give to, to humanity and show humanity that there is another world beyond, beyond this world, beyond your, your earth plane. He wants to know that this hasn't stopped. You know, this is, this is still true today as it was all those years ago, that he is, is there for us and wants to communicate um, in many ways, um, he, he feels, is so important. He's, he's also saying that once Jesus had passed um, and come over to his world, he spoke to Jesus um, very softly and very calmly. And, and he thanked him for the work that he'd done. But he said that it is so important that we now return you to the world so that people can see firsthand that there is more to you than they possibly knew and possibly realise. 
he needed people to understand that although he had um, ostensibly died, he was eternally living and that his words that he had spoken about about being met with his father and being greeted by his father were true because people so many people had witnessed his passing and knew that there was a reason for his passing and that reason was to take his steps towards his father and take his steps to a to a new life an eternal life, an eternal life which was always going to be close to myself. He says now Jesus works very closely with him still today and is always willing to help mankind and, and, is, and is currently doing so much good work in your land, particularly at this time and the, at this crisis. And he feels very grateful to Jesus for, for everything that he does because there is never a time where he doesn't want to do some good work or doesn't want to help mankind. He tirelessly works at all times to help as many people as he possibly can. He's saying that, um, and through that, he, he is very, very grateful to, to Jesus. But he's also saying to me that now that we are moving into new times, and these new times, are, he feels, is very significant because he's saying that these new times are going to take mankind to a new level of thinking, a new way of looking at life. And he feels that this is um, in the beginning stages um, of, of humanity. And he, he says that there will be much work done from his world to ensure that the minds of many people think in a more positive way, but always think in the light. He is bringing so much light to our earth and so much healing to our earth at this time where it is needed so much. But he is also bringing the thoughts to, to the world. He wants to bring thoughts that are thought provoking. He wants to show people that there is only one way to be, only one way to be, and that is to follow the path that Jesus gave to them and follow this path because the path leads to him and the path is always in light. And, and he says that he thanks people for, for, for watching his, his video and his words and listening to his words. And he thanks them so much and he says that um, in time there will be more revelations that he will bring to the earth about his world and he feels very positive about bringing these revelations because he feels that mankind is ready to hear his words. It's almost as though we are going to a new level of understanding, a new level, uh, a new way of being and a new way of taking our lives to a new understanding that ultimately everything goes back to God and God is everything and God is in everything. God is a part of everything and we are all part of God. He's thanking um, you all for listening and he's looking forward to communicating to, um, very soon because what he's saying is that he hopes to come through more regularly through Gail and will be speaking his words um, um, of, of interest that he feels to many people um, over and over again. So he's thanking you and goodbye. Oh, and he's saying, do not forget to pray. He does like your prayers because then he can answer them. Thank you for listening and goodbye.